Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan, and today we are playing the Unreal World, and this is episode number three of our Hurt, Helpless, and Afraid series, so let's jump into it. Now, we're here at our little base camp, as you can see here, my hunger bar is pretty high, but unfortunately, if we go to the Eat tab here, we'll see that I've got 43 pinches of heather flowers, but I've got six spoiled roasted elk cuts. So we did end up wasting a little bit of that meat because we can't eat these. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill up on the heather flowers. We'll just eat those. We can eat as many as we want. No, no risk there. Uh, but we do need to start thinking about more meat production because we've got some elk. We've got 46 dried elk cuts right here. Uh, but it takes 19 more days for that to finish. And let me tell you, to be honest, those aren't the 46 elk cuts is not going to last very long. That'll that's like I don't know three days worth of food right there. So we definitely need to get on top of at least setting more traps and hopefully encountering some more animals. That like another elk would be great right now. We've actually got uh, quite a few. Uh, pieces of cordage here so we could probably get most of an elk dried well honestly i'd probably need to make some more but uh, that's okay we can do that what i've got going on in my inventory is i did pick up four stones so we're going to set some more traps and i'm actually keeping this spoiled elk cut with me because we're going to use that to bait those traps but in addition last episode we made three crude javelins so they're not the best quality but at least we have something now we can throw at an animal you know maybe we'll hit it maybe not uh, one of our best skills is our uh, spearmanship. It's not the best, but uh, we're pretty darn good with the spear, so we might get lucky. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go to the world map. Um, we've got some traps already up north, so I think maybe I'm going to head over. Uh, let's head to the coast a little bit. I'll put some right about here-ish. We'll see what's around this area. Always going to hide it. Look, there's a bird right there. It's hard to see it, but it's uh, it's flying right now. So it is, this is probably a good spot. Yep, it's flying high. I'm just going to put them on top of some of these mushrooms here real quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I got to get the slender trunks. Yeah, I didn't bring those with me intentionally because they're I'm trying to keep a lot of firewood back at the base. I don't want to be picking it up from there. All right, so we got five. That's pretty perfect. I just need four. So let me go ahead and place these uh, traps down real quick. Oh my god, I'm not even kidding. But I was literally setting this trap, the last of the four, and I turned around and there's literally a bird right there already in the first trap I set. No joke, it's that one that was flying around too, I guarantee it. Well, there we go. That's, that's a blessing. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. I'm going to get right next to him like this. Now I'm going to hit my knife. I'm going blunt to the head, as I always do, and I'm just going to repeat that action over and over again until this bird drops. Now, usually birds don't take very long. Yeah, he's already down, so let's just hit him in the head a couple more times, and eventually he'll die. Now, yeah, there he is. He's dead. So bigger animals definitely take longer. It's kind of a pain, but it's worth doing, obviously. That's what it's all about. Because once you get an animal into that position where they're down and you're beating them in the head, you're pretty much guaranteed some meat. So you should be pretty excited at that point. All right, whoops, I want to reset this trap here before we leave the area and take our little bird with us. Uh, let me see here. Did he eat? I don't know. I did put all that spoiled meat in those traps, so that's pretty decent. Let me. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Like I said, I like to play mostly zoomed out. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this stick, too. I don't want to let that go to waste. So let's actually, I think I see another one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. See, I'm really starting to get concerned. You can see there's snow on the ground right now, too. So we're still warm. We're still able to travel about with the meager amount of clothing I've got on. But it's going to get to a point here soon where we can't. So that's one reason why I don't want to set these traps too far away. In fact, some of these might be a little too far. Like this one, eh, it's kind of questionable. But uh, anyway, we can always make more of those lever traps. That's not the end of the world. So let's keep looking around here. Hmm. I'm going to go dive back here real quick. Drop the trunks. Yeah. Let me go ahead and sort out my inventory real quick. Then I think we might actually try and do some hunting. I'd really love to get another elk. 
Okay, well it is actually morning the following day. I processed the bird and that pretty much took me all night to finish the stuff, but we got a couple of pieces of uh, meat off of it. So I'm gonna eat one of those for breakfast. Then I'll probably eat the rest of my berries that I picked. I wandered around and picked some stuff while I was waiting for the skin to finish. So I spent some time doing that. Let's get a quick drink and then we're gonna head off and like I said, hope for an elk or at least something that we can encounter on the world map and take a swing at. So let me quick, real quick, uh, look at the uh, map here, the big world map. I wanna see where the best hunting ground is. In fact, it looks like it's over to the northeast. Yeah, where all the darker lands are, so up this way. Yeah, this is kind of, I might actually build a shelter up there too. Um, it's good to have multiple shelters, especially in the colder weather you know, when we don't have a lot of protection. But uh, anyway, I'm really going to hope to see an elk on the way because that would be great. Let's go ahead and head up this little corridor here. Still trying to explore, do some light exploration as we head in this direction. But I don't want to get too far off track because we are on a mission here. So let's see. This is it. This is the area I like a lot. Look at all this hunting ground. Ooh, there's some water right here. This is really nice, having this patch of water. Let's let's investigate this a little bit. Ah, uh, yes. I like this. This is actually like a spot I could even see setting up a really permanent base, like building a cabin here or something. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe a small one for like seasonal travel because eventually like a goal that I would set for myself if I was doing a big playthrough, a long playthrough, is I would want to attack the purple people and try and take out as many of their settlements as I can. Now there are various methods of doing that and that's a whole different thing, but uh, yeah, one of the things you would do is equip yourself with the best weaponry and you're gonna get that from these people right here, this teal color. So you would want something in between basically where you could stop off because that's a long journey to go back and forth there, uh, but that's ideal. So maybe we could have a little cabin in other words set up right here. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna actually pick up some stone here while we're doing this. Let's see, yeah, let me let me look around, inspect the area a little bit. This might be a good spot for a shelter. Well, I found both a log and a squirrel in this location. I went north and looked at the uh, other side of the lake, so I think this is probably a good spot. Pretty fortuitous there, uh, because we're definitely gonna need this log. I'll pick, or tree trunk, I'm sorry, it's not a log yet. Uh, we're going to move that. I'll put it somewhere. Eh, maybe we'll go over here by this puddle. Yeah, this is a good spot. Whoa, there's some uh, little dips in the land there. Could hard, Kind of hard to tell. All right, so we're good. This is be this will be the location for our second uh, shelter. So what I'm going to do is I'll zoom in a little bit. It's easier to see. I'm going to push this log down there. Now I'm going to probably build the shelter right here, but I need some extra small tree trunks. So I'm going to take that down. Yes, we're very hungry, but that's okay. And we are malnourished, but we're just gonna eat as many heather flowers as he can stand. And let's build a shelter here. There we go. See how long it takes him. It says the knife is very unhandy. Okay, yeah, so we had to do it in spurts because he's not able to finish the whole thing at once. He's uh, he's pretty tired. It's getting late, but uh, we can continue now. So we've rested a little bit. Let's go ahead and continue. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Yeah, let me grab those. There we go. Okay. Continuing the construction. Oh, look at that. Now look at our warmth real quick. It says chilly. See that? That's not good. We And we're also extremely tired, which kind of stinks. But um, what I need to do now is start a fire. So I think I will drop some branches here and I do have some slender trunks. I'm going to go ahead and use all those. We're going to get a big fire going. Whoops. Now, there we go. I'm going to set it next to me. Light this a couple times. Okay. We're literally cold. All right. I'm going to sleep, but we'll be fine. We're literally exposed though, because our shelter is not complete, but we don't have much other option because he's really, really tired. So he'll probably wake up. Yeah. He's he woke up because he's starving, so not much we can do about that. But since he's got a little bit of rest in, under his belt, I'm going to go ahead and try and build this shelter again. We're going to push him a little bit. So let's go, buddy. He's almost done with it. Ah, very nice. He finished it. Okay, so now we've got a shelter. We have a fire next to us. Let's drop, 
Uh, I guess I'll drop the stones here. Maybe we'll build some traps at this location too. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and drop this stuff as well. We can use that for firewood later, but now he's good. So uh, let's grab a little bit of water because he's very thirsty. I mean, you could ignore the food for a long period of time, but you can't ignore the water. So let's get him some thirst. Now I am going to fill him up with berries and heather and then put him to bed. All right, we have survived the night. The fire burnt out, but that's okay. It's to be expected. Uh, now, this is a pretty meager base. There's not a lot here, but honestly, there's not much at our other base either. <laughs> but uh, this is a good spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the map. Now, I want to, you can see where we're at. It's It looks real far from the other base, but it's not. You know, we traveled that in one day, less than a day. So I'm gonna add another X to this location though, and I'm gonna say this is camp two. All right, now we've got a spot, we've marked it. There's not much here, but we can continue on looking for more elk today. So we can always come back to this location to rest, get warm. Ooh, look at my warmth, it says cool. You know what, we might actually, it might be a little too early in the morning I really got to watch the warmth here. Yeah, see, being cool is not good. Not in the winter. Oh, boy. Oh, yep. See, we're chilly. Actually, chilly, I think, is an improvement. Oh, no, it might not be. I think that's worse than cool. Yeah, I might need to stop at some point and just start a fire somewhere. This is the challenge of winter right here. Going slow. And small little bursts and in fact let's get ahead of it let's stay ahead of it because we don't want to try and be like starting a fire while we're freezing so what I'm gonna do is just a real quick impromptu fire I'm going to take some branches off this tree all right those dropped at my feet now I'm gonna actually cut the tree down and I'm gonna push the branches on top of that tree so now we got a nice big stack of kindling there and we are officially cold, so this is good timing. Like I said, let's get ahead of it. Let's do this. Now we got a big fire right where we're at. Perfect. Uh, we just probably need to rest because it does say we're we're vigorous, lively. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna rest here. We're gonna warm up, and then I think we need to go back to our original base camp. This has been a fun excursion. It was good to get that shelter built, but we're pushing it out here. All right, let's rest. Okay, good. You can see we're sweating a lot. That's perfect. Now, it's pretty late. Ooh. Let me look at my map again. I'm going to try and navigate over to the lower bottom X right there. That's where I'm headed. So let's just head this direction. See if we can't make it. I'm watching my warmth. Uh, I'm not interested in any squirrels right now. That would be a waste of time. And just watching my warmth. Not worried about the water right now. We can get that back home. Also, same with the food. Here we go. Here's our camp. We're actually not bad. Let's uh, let's go right up here real quick. Where's our traps? Let me zoom in. Sometimes it's easier to see them, especially at night. So I know that there there is. There it is. Let's check this one. Doesn't look like it. Nothing's in the traps. Okay. No worries. We'll just leave that area. Let's go ahead and check the traps over here. Yes, watching my warmth at all times, keeping my eyes open. Okay, that's still nothing. That's fine. Just had to check them. All right, now we are back home. We made it successfully. So didn't get any food, obviously, but, uh, well, it was worth it, I think. All right, didn't get a chance to use our javelins either. Time to drink and time for bed. Okay, good morning, everybody. I've got ourselves a nice little fire here going. I am cool because I was cutting down some trees and stuff. I left the shelter, uh, wait until the light came up. But I decided we need to go ahead and craft up a little bit more clothing, I think, for this guy. So if we look at him, take off, we can see he's missing a few, several items here. I can tell just by looking. We don't have a lot of clothing here. So I've taken off the rough fur overcoat. That's why it's in red. So we And I also picked up that little bit of fur we have left from the baby elk that we killed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make some clothing. We're going to go for a fur cap. I know he's missing that. And that's just a small item. It shouldn't take a lot. Yeah, 1.2 pounds of fur. So I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of this, 0.5. Now we have 0.7 left required. So I'm going to use the 12 and a half pounds we have on the fur overcoat. We'll use some of that. And all we need is a knife. Okay. No cordage for that piece. Great. Now we have it. We can wear it. 
Let's go ahead and put the rough fur cap on. Beautiful. Now, let me let me look at the clothing he's got again. Okay, boots, trousers, mittens. He really needs a shirt. I don't think the a shirt takes like seven pounds of cloth. That would pretty much ruin our overcoat. So to be honest, I think we're just going to have to go with what we've got right now. Put that back on because I don't want to completely destroy that thing. It's basically the only upper torso protection we have. We can also look at warmth. There's a way to look at the warmth. Let me figure that out for a second. Actually, we'll do it together because I'm going to hit the escape and I'm going to go keyboard commands. <clears throat> now we're going to go, let's see here. I want to do boo, 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 information. Is that it? Armor coverage statistics. Yeah, so it's sh uh, shift A. If you'll see it right here. And I bring my cursor over. Here we go. So shift A, armor coverage statistics. So what I'm going to do is leave and we'll do shift A. Good. Now, you can see we've got the different armors here, but it also says warmth. Okay, so now we can see what parts of our body don't have a lot of good protection. Our feet don't have. I imagine we don't have any socks on. Is that correct? Yeah, we don't have socks. So the leather boots aren't great either. We should probably take those off and just kind of save them. We might use the leather for something, but we might just save them for the summers because we do need some fur. So fur, fur footwear should be doable. Let me, let me see if I can't craft some of that up. Okay, well, it's going to take three pounds of fur and three feet of thin cordage, which we have. It's just, you know, that overcoat's starting to get a little threadbare after all this crafting, I think. But, I mean, it's worth it. So now I need to take the leather boots off. I don't think we can wear. No, I can't wear fur and leather boots at the same time, which is a bit of a shame. But um, we're just going to put the fur on. Ooh, crude. We got crude. That's rough. <laughs> I wish it was rough. Anyway, let's take that on. Like I said, I'm going to drop the leather boots here at our camp. Remember, those are there. Don't want to leave them there forever. All right, now, oops, actually, that's not what I want to do. Let's take a look here. Ooh, let's go to warmth. Ah, it looks like that helped a little bit. It's still not in the green. I'm looking at our feet now again. So our feet are, are yellow, but they did go up a color or two, I think. So that is moderately better. But I think that's about the best we're going to be able to do. All right. Well, I was just moving through the marshlands trying to find an elk, but I actually stumbled across a hare. So let me see. Can I go into stealth? No. He sees me right where I'm at. I'm not in a good position, though, because I'm behind this tree. So I'm going to try and step forward one space. All right. Good. He didn't move. So now I'm going to actually wield one of my javelins. Okay. He's starting to move away. I'm going to throw the javelin at him. It'll probably miss. All right, now it's asking head, body, arms. I'm going for body. Oh, yeah, we missed terribly. Let me try that again. Oh, nope, nope. One more, one more. We can always go get our javelins. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, so that was worth a try. I didn't really think it would work. And now that rabbit is gone. I'm not going to go run after a rabbit. That would be insane. So it was worth a shot, though. But like I said, the warmth is okay. It's midday. It's noon. So I'm feeling confident we can move. Oh, ooh, ooh. I just saw something. I don't know if you guys spotted that, but I think it was a pig right over here. Oh, it's a fox. Well, let's at least encounter it and we'll see. Like I said, you know, it's... We can't chase a fox, but I can at least try the javelin. So it's real close to us, too. It's right in front. It's turning away. I'm going to toss this at it. Oh, my God. almost hit that. We're getting better. Let's try one more crazy Hail Mary. Oh, boom. Almost. Uh, all right. I'm going to grab these and uh, keep moving around. Keep exploring. Okay. Well, we have gotten ourselves into a bad position, see? I'm, I'm not necessarily far from home, but I'm still a good distance and I'm cold. That's a dangerous place to be. So I'm literally, I got to stop. I'm going to do some branches. I'm going to cut it down and start a fire because you cannot play around with your, if you get to freezing level, it's even more, it's even hard to start a fire. So you can literally freeze to death while you, while you're trying to start the fire. So you cannot play around with your warmth.
Okay, well then now it is evening time. I just built this fire. I lay down and slept for a little while. Uh, but of course he's starving, so he didn't sleep to full vigorousness because he's starving. He's gonna, always going to wake up. But um, So that actually kind of works to my benefit. Now look, you'll see my warmth. We're literally sweating. <laughs> so we're safe now. I'm going to zoom out. We're just going to leave the fire. There's no risk of it like burning the forest down or anything. So don't worry about that. And basically to get back to the shelter, I just need to head straight south. So no messing around, no searching for game. It's too late at night anyway. Um, I could probably step... Yeah, I can check the trap. Nope, nothing here. All right, let's head down. And it is late evening, but we can probably still check these traps too. Let's do that. It's always good. Always good to check those on a daily basis. Or maybe you want to give it a few days. You know, it just depends on what you think is best. All right, there we go. So we didn't have any luck, but we did make it home. Oh, and I actually took my eyes off my warmth there for a second. Look at me now. Numbingly cold. That's very bad. That's devastatingly bad. I shouldn't have let it get that bad, in fact. But um, I was getting greedy. I was checking traps. So luckily we're home. I can still successfully start a fire. So let's do that. Might take a few times because he is very cold. His hands are shaking. He can't. Oh, look, he's freezing. <gasps> See, okay, now we're near death, literally. And the next stage would be freezing to death. And then the, after that is death. So this is kind of a good example. Also, you even if we don't freeze to death, we run the risk of getting frostbite like this. So you got to watch that. Now, it's actually asking me, do I want to abort the task of building a fire? Because I'm freezing. It's saying, you're freezing. You need to do something. No, I don't want to. No, it's, it gets a little annoying. But this is what I'm talking about because it becomes very impossible to even start a fire. We need to, oh gosh, come on. We don't want this play through to end right now. There we go. We got the fire. Woohoo. All right. So I'm going to, even though I'm really thirsty, I'm going to go ahead and eat and try to sleep for a little bit, which will warm him up. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. And then we will go and get a drink. Okay. He's fine. He's fine. Fire burnt out, but that's okay. Let's grab some water. That was a rough night though. See what happens if you push it. Too far out there on the world map, you can easily lose a playthrough. So you got to be careful. And make sure you've got everything you need at your shelter in terms of sticks and, you know, all the stuff to make a fire. Well, I've determined that actually hunting now is probably a suicide mission. At this point, we have gone too far into the winter months at, or weeks that... Yeah, it's not going to be feasible. So what I'm going to do now is with the little warmth I have at this point, I'm, I'm going to come down here to the coast uh, and pick up some rocks here. Pick up some of these big stones that we need to make more traps with. Because if we can set a bunch of traps in our local vicinity, we'll be a lot better off this winter than if I just like get one elk or no elks, which is more likely. So... Yeah, with the time we have and warmth. And, it, you know, once I get enough stones, then we can go back to thinking about elk if we get, like, a couple warm days or something. But, uh, yeah, the traps are going to be the priority for now. Okay, well, I made it back, and I did check my traps, so I'm cold again. But uh, I got 15 stones, which is pretty good. And I picked up a little bit of other stuff, a tree trunk, and I actually picked some berries and heather while I was there, too. So I got a little bit of food, but that's really not enough. So it's time for another fire. Let's do one slender trunk and just four. I'm really trying to spare the firewood because we've got to have enough for all winter. And of course, I'm going to have to cut down a bunch more. This just isn't enough. But that's going to become the focus as it gets colder and colder. I'll probably mainly focus on wood <clears throat> and, and just watching the traps, you know, checking the traps every day and making as much firewood as possible. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set some traps down here to the south, but not very far at all, just like three tiles away, so that we can check these all winter. You know, because even the ones we've got set up and to the north and to the east are probably a little too far for that. So, uh, yeah, we want to have some really close to our home tile. So I've got, oh, I think, yeah, again, I need to get the slender trunks. So let me grab those first. Yep, you can see it's very early, so I might actually, ooh, I might need to build a fire here, which really would suck, but maybe we can just knock these out. Let me try it. I really shouldn't play around with this cold. Ooh, we're chilly. Okay, so we got one built. Let's go back home. 
I've got a fire like not burning, but it's ready to go. I've already got everything pushed there and stuff. So let me just start that up and we'll warm up for a bit. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we can kind of look at our traps here. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. There we go, now we're hot. You can see sweating a lot. It, the sun has come up more. I don't see any birds in the traps though, unfortunately. So let's go back down here to the south. Yep, and I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of these real quick. Okay, well I set those traps down south. Now I actually came up north just to check these, but look, there's a bird on the ground just ahead of me. I'm actually, I'm gonna try, he sees me, but I'm gonna try and move forward. Not spooking him, just kind of moving with him. All right, I'm gonna pull out the javelin and I'm gonna give this a toss. He's pretty far, but hey, you know, at least we're getting some practice out of it. Oh, we missed him. He really didn't see even notice what happened though. Our shot was so bad, so let me try it again. Uh, maybe we'll get close enough to at least scare him this time. Oh, look, it went right next to him. He still didn't get spooked by it. All right, let me try again. God, can we please get the bird? That'd be awesome. No. Mm, well, yeah, he flew away. All right, let's go grab our stuff. Well, at least I know there are birds in the area. There's another brown one right there flying. So there, there's two birds on my screen right now, which is pretty nice. Like I say, at least I know they're here in the area. So having traps around this spot is not... A complete waste of time all right well we are back here at the camp uh, safe and sound I've set several traps in different locations now uh, we're still probably not good enough I'm gonna keep pushing out the traps though we just to have an absurd amount so we can as many birds as possible but um, one thing final thing I want to talk about before we close out the episode is the hunger and starvation we're experiencing you might wonder well if we've been eating heather and berries and stuff why are we starving for whatever reason in this world world in this game berries and vegetation stuff is not enough you're going to have to get meat at some point or else you will starve so that's just how it works you cannot have a strictly vegetarian diet in the unreal world <laughs> won't work anyway guys thank you so much for joining me tonight if you guys uh, like the content hit like and subscribe for me it helps grow the channel i appreciate that check the description down there for the discord and patreon link and i will see you guys on the next episode Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.